Hello everyone, it's Chris Pritt back again with a new topic in West Virginia divorce. Today we're going to be talking about de facto marriages. A de facto marriage is only relevant and applied under West Virginia law really in one situation. And that's when somebody is attempting to modify an award of spousal support. Okay, so a de facto marriage is a marriage that is basically for all intents and purposes a marriage. Let's say you have a, a couple that is living together, they share bills, they are um, they share a bank account, and, and so forth. There are a number of factors that's considered to, deter, to determine whether something is a de facto marriage. And under the law, it comes up in a situation where one of the spouses has been awarded alimony. Now, it really dep depends on the type of alimony as to whether the... Uh, the definition of de facto marriage could be applied. So what people will oftentimes do is somebody will file for a, uh, a reduction in the alimony that they have to pay. One of the reasons that they might do that is the existence of a de facto marriage. Let's say their spouse is cohabitating with another person who, with whom they are in a relationship, they're sharing bills, they're sharing um, a bank account, and so forth. And what they will do is they will claim as a basis for modifying the spousal support, spousal support the existence of a de facto marriage. Now, whether that will actually be awarded in terms of a reduction of the alimony, alimony they pay is really going to be based on what, number one, whether you can prove the existence of a de facto marriage. And if you can, the next thing that you have to take a look at is the type of alimony that has been awarded. If there's an there if there's been an award of rehabilitative alimony or an award of lump sum alimony, it's you're not going to be able to modify it. However, you are going to be able to modify if you prove it under under certain circumstances, and you you are able to establish um, um, some other form of alimony such as permanent alimony. Now the the word permanent is a little bit of a misnomer in the law in West Virginia when it when it comes to that, but regardless. If it's an award of alimony that is not rehabilitative or lump sum, then it might be able to be modified in some way upon proving the existence of a de facto marriage. It's a, uh, a, it's a very, very specific term that's used in a very, very specific situation under West Virginia law. But it's really, really important that you have a good understanding of what that word means before attempting to uh, file for a modification of any kind of spousal support after divorce. That consists of today's video. If you have any questions at all, feel free to give me a call or send me an email. Have a good day.